How's it going, you guys? AZ Plyo 21 back again with more Franchise Hockey Manager 9 and the Arizona State Sun Devils here in Franchise Hockey Manager 9. Got that college hockey going on. In my last episode, I went through the quote unquote recruitment period, which is essentially an auction draft, kind of how you would do it in fantasy football. Essentially, what it is is a team will nominate a player that they want to sign on a scholarship. You have the option to offer that player a scholarship as well. And then that player will just make a decision on where he wants to go. Um, so if you skip that episode, it's very long. I do apologize. If you went ahead and you skip that episode, that is understandable. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at who we went ahead and we signed. So we got all of these guys right here our first round uh quote unquote draft pick or recruiting pick did not sign with us um so we have paul minahan half star talent five star potential um american like to see that we also have josh nado four and a half star potential but three star talent currently that's a big one for me i want to make sure that he can play right away help us win uh riley Bruick, four and a half stars uh, Lakshmelich, two-star talent, five-star potential, which is awesome. Orico, five-star potential. Uh, might be able to help us out on the defensive side right away. Chris Abel might also be able to help us right away, even though his potential is not the best. Um, Bowen Burke, we also got Riley Stewart, four-and-a-half-star potential. Jeff Montoya, and then Kareem Al-Azem. So, that is, the, that is essentially what recruiting is in Franchise Hockey Manager 9. If you're expecting something kind of similar to, I don't know, NCAA Football 14 or even NCAA 04, it's not like that. It's not even it's not even remotely close to like bullbound college football or, you know, the Wolverine sports video games where you're recruiting all season long. It's not like that. It's essentially like an auction draft like you would do in fantasy football. To me, honestly, it is a little disappointing. Um, I Hopefully there's a more intuitive way to be better about it. You know, the only thing that I've seen that the game has told me helps you in the way of getting recruits is this. Your current scouting value will influence your chances when attempting to recruit players currently playing in that area. So for all intents and purposes, anybody in the Pacific, anybody in the Atlantic, we have a better shot at getting as far as recruiting wise um that doesn't bode well for us in canada because our canada scouting is not that good or western europe or eastern europe or the rest of the world so really the united states is where i want to focus my efforts anyways but it doesn't tell me hey this recruit would probably be interested in joining you hey this recruit does not want to join you nothing like that at all i wish it did um but at the end of the day, I'm still happy that this isn't even an option. So um, I'm sure that with the coming, you know, releases that they'll have for this game, maybe they'll do a patch down the line where they change up the recruiting aspect of it a little bit. Who's to say? I'm still excited that this is an option, um, but I do wish it was a little bit different if I was being 100% honest. With that said, though, we're still going to rock with the uh, series. I do want to see ASU continue to win, um, but they may not do so today against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. This is a very good team um, in Minnesota. We'll go and rock just a few highlights here um, as we take on the Golden Gophers on their home ice. Simulating a little bit quicker. And they have the puck as they move it up the ice. Two minutes to go here in the first period, and that is immediately a goal right from the point was practically getting screened by our own guys and that's uh pino niemi his second goal of the season <clears throat> our, uh, our our guys are not playing overly great let's see if we can get something cooking here passing across the ice very nicely okay i like that from the point and nothing going on lucas sillinger um how's he doing today 49 uh no we'll be fine rat mastro simone no all right, and then it looks like we'll just go towards the second period. Down one nothing, and giving away the puck in our own zone, and that is going to be a nice save, but on the rebound, it is a goal for Minnesota. Not ideal at all, as it is Bryce Brzezinski on the goal. Uh, not a very good game today for uh, Semfelter. I have to get used to saying his name still. Um, Lagerback having a pretty good game, but other than that, 
no one else having a good time. Lucas Sillinger on a 53, kind of struggling. We'll try to get it explained to him. He doesn't grasp, but we're able to tell him. Uh, continue to play a medial tempo game. Should we pick up the tempo? Yeah, let's go ahead. We need goals badly. Aren't pressing for shots. Yeah, let's increase that shooting tendency. See if we can get some more shots on net. And that's going to go over to Minnesota. Why are they line changing right there? That's... Jackson Lacombe, I have zero idea why they line changed right there as they were entering our zone. Might be a bug, not 100% sure, but nonetheless, 3-0 for Minnesota. A two-minute slashing call for Lavelle. Love to see that. Murchison getting a nice Aaron Huglin. Are we just losing it here? No, that's them. That is them. 5v4, Logan Cooley. It's getting chippy towards the end of the game. All right, donor not off offering anything in the way of defense, and we are going to concede again. Mason Nevers, his sixth goal of the season. Like I said, these games against Minnesota are going to be tough. Unsportsmanlike conduct for Ryan Johnson. That is not one of our guys. No, it's not. On the power play, not going to amount to much, it looks like. If we can even get one goal, that'd be awesome just to get a little bit, just to get a little bit of pride back on our side. Oh, hit that from the point, and that's a goal. Love to see it. Not going to get shut out at the very least, and that's Ty Murchison's third goal of the season. Uh, definitely going to lose this one, though, to Minnesota. It is what it is. Hopefully, we can get something going in the second game. Jackson Lacombe now getting sent off with the unsportsmanlike conduct. Uh, Minnesota could do even further damage, it would appear. Uh, all the way back to the point. And that's going to go in. 5-1 to one to Minnesota. Two minutes left to go. And that's going to do it today. Um, so, yeah, definitely a tough one. Um, more than likely expecting kind of a similar result tomorrow. Mastro Simone still among the league leaders in points and assists. Um, but, yeah, looking pretty tough. Anytime we face relatively tough opposition we do lose quite badly so let's go ahead and get right into it though um, we're just going to see how we can do in this one we have our backup goalie playing today and uh, let's see if we can uh, get something else going here today against the golden gophers appreciate you guys by the way whether you're watching on youtube or twitch i'm az plier 21 and uh, yeah stay tuned for more of this franchise hockey manager 9 series got a lot of Football manager stuff going on. WMMA5, as always. Jack Jensen on a 54. Offensive grade is pretty bad. Let's see if we can explain it to him. He understands now, apparently. Let's see if we can get something going here. Homer having a good game. 22 saves. Um, Let's see here. Uh, terrible goal to give up. Terrible transition defense. No idea what happened there as uh, Matthew Kanais gets his fifth goal of the season on it now go ahead and move it through the zone find donor oh that's josh doan i believe right there in the middle on the goal gets it tied up for a piece that's actually uh mastro simone 94 is mastro simone 91 is josh doan so his seventh goal of the season ties it up in the late stages of the second period and that gets us to the third still 1-1 um, Timothy Lavelle, he is, where is Timothy Lavelle? On a 62, I feel like he's doing fine, we'll be okay with him. Uh, lagger back, not having the greatest game, let's try to explain it, still doesn't get it. Uh, Colin Schmidt, two minute minor, see if we can get anything going on the power play, we cannot. Going into the third, a minute left to go, and it looks like they have the puck. Please do not do this to us, guys. And they are not going to do it to us. They are going to do it to us. Last minute of the game, Minnesota is going to take it in regulation. Wow. At the very least, I would have uh, liked to have had overtime to get a point out of it. But it is not to be. 42 uh, shot attempts on Homer today. He did very, very well. Um, it was not to be, though. 2-1, to one, our final score here in Minnesota. So that brings us to 9-5-1 and one now. Record starting to creep down just a little bit. Um, 
I am not overly worried necessarily. Um, we do have a couple of hard games still coming at us. Denver, who are the defending champions. Uh, Boston College should be pretty tough. Boston is definitely going to be tough. But other than that, a lot of winnable games. So at the very least, we should still be able to make it into the postseason. That is my hope at the very least. Appreciate you guys, whether you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. Links are down in the description below if you want to figure out how to watch me even further. Um, but yeah, let's go ASU Sun Devils, and I'll see you guys next time.